When performing a rheumatological examination, you must look, feel, and move every joint. I'm about to lift your leg straight up in the air, uh, as far as I go, uh, with your knee, with your, with your knee extended. So, the straight leg raising test is done for sciatica. Raise each leg straight up in the air. Normal hip movement should allow for 90 degrees of flexion. If there is pain in the back of the leg, radiated to the lumbar spine, the test is positive for sciatica. Yeah, okay, we'll just go up with the other one. Lasique's test for sciatica is the same as the straight leg raising test, except that the ankle is also dorsiflexed during leg raising. Alright, um, now can I get you to turn around on your tummy? And using this leg, can you bring your heel up to your bum? The femoral nerve stretch test is done by flexing each knee as far as it will go with the patient in the prone position. In a positive test, the patient will feel pain in the anterior thigh on the same side, which is the distribution of the femoral nerve. Is it on the left? No. Okay. Oh, great. So you can turn around to the lie on your back again. So I'm going to focus on your hips now. Um, can I just get you to expose them a little bit if you could just lift your t-shirt up a bit? Position the patient lying supine on a flat bed with legs fully exposed. On examination of the hips, consider the skin, joints and muscles. Look at the hips for swelling, deformity or asymmetry. If any asymmetry is noted, measure the true length and apparent length of the legs. True length difference demonstrates hip disease on the shorter side. Apparent leg length differences demonstrate pelvic tilting. Note any muscle wasting around the legs. Palpation consists of locating the anterior superior iliac spine the pubic tubercle and from these the inguinal ligament. Palpate these landmarks and also the midpoint of the inguinal ligament for hernias. Locate and palpate the greater trochanters bilaterally. Passive movement of the hip is carried out with the patient initially lying supine. The first one is uh, flexion. So. Test for flexion by stabilizing the iliac crest with one hand and flexing the leg with the other hand. Bring each knee up to the chest allowing the knee to flex at the same time. Test each leg. Right. Test for abduction and adduction by stabilizing the iliac crest with one hand and abducting the hip out as far as possible and then moving it back to the starting position. Test each leg. Back to me. Is that okay? It is. Right. Test for internal and external rotation by flexing both the hip and knee 90 degrees and then moving the knee laterally for external rotation and medially for internal rotation. Test each leg. Okay. And now can I get you to turn around onto your tummy? To test for extension, ask the patient to roll over into the prone position. Stabilize the pelvis with one hand over the sacroiliac joint. Extend the hip by raising the leg off the bed. Test each leg. Does that feel okay? That's good. Okay. All right, you can turn back around again. That's one of the tests I'd like to do. Could you bring both your knees up to your tummy? To check for a fixed flexion deformity, perform Thomas's test by flexing both hips fully. Then allow one leg to extend fully. Thomas' test is positive if the patient cannot extend the leg fully.